Like a god in the dark, I see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling by the suckers. Hello, guys, welcome to another part one in Naruto at the Sim, yo, part two. And before we start, don't forget like to like, comment, and subscribe, and most importantly, enjoy. Now, let's get started. So, like in Canon Team 7, we'll still go do um, D rank missions. It was for an entire much. And after catching the cat, Naruto will complain to the third Okage saying that, come on, Grant, we can't get a higher rank mission. I'm tired of doing this. Doing this stuff. Kakashi would tell Naruto not to talk to the third like that. But the third would just lap it off saying no it's fine. And I see where <laughs> and we'll see where and we'll see to grab another mission, a C rank as we know. And it would be the those were the mission. Yep, I think that's what it's called. Anyways they anyways the next day they would arrive to pick up Tazuna and proceed to and, we will proceed to insult the guinea. Kakashi, Kakashi was to have to stop Sakura from trying to rip Tazuna in half. What's the with Sakura saying we cannot... I'm sorry, what? Kakashi saying we cannot kill the client. As they will leave the village, but when Tazuna turns his back, he will be hit by a black hand. <laughs> Anyways, on the journey, as we know, they will still be attacked by the demon brothers. I had to search this up because I literally could not remember these two for the life of me. <laughs> but like in Canon Kakashi, you will seemingly be killed as a black hand will wrap around one of the brothers' uh, throats and he will be swung in the air. And uh, he will get the probably one of the uh, hardest choke slams in Naruto. Although I cannot confirm that. Straight to the ground. As Sasuke would deal with the other demon brother, Kakashi was so will be alive and would grant on to Sasuke for dealing with the demon brothers and Sakura for <laughs> staying with Tatsuna. Good for her. Anyways, like in Canada, the team will still come to the conclusion that this mission is higher rank and that it's actually was an A rank, right? A rank, yeah, I believe it was an A or B. Not the point. After questioning Tazuna, of course, who will eventually give in and tell them off the truth. Anyways, like in canon, they will continue on. And anyways, again, as they were walking the forest, mist would start to roll up as a sword would, come, would be thrown over them with Venom saying, duh. Well, Naruto saying, duh. You know, the two. And as the sword would hit the tree, as a man was standing in the middle of the team, it would say, Hand over the bridge, bitter, and he'll let the squad go. Anyways, Kakashi would still proceed to fight. So, all of a sudden, that fight would go as in canon. Wrong button! <laughs> Naruto would morph into the Venom suit. By the way, just to confirm, his usual suit is big and bulky. That'll come into play later. <laughs> Not like the one I have in the thumbnail, which is why I didn't even put that there. Why didn't I just put the big and bulky Venom suit? Anyways, Naruto wants to they then say that he's got this as he would dash straight at his officer who would go for a slash at Naruto as he would Naruto would duck under this and would slice Zabuza's arm off. I really couldn't think of any other way. <laughs> Frank Kakashi, Naruto, would ask if that is necessary, but from saying probably not, but he just came up with it on the spot. Like I did. <laughs> and like in canon, Zabuza and Kakashi would still have their second fight. However, Kakashi would have a much easier time since um the guy's kind of missing an arm. Why did not put that in the thumbnail? <laughs> Which means in this timeline, since my whatever Zabuza will be killed, then Haku would come out in a rage, in a fit of rage by his um master's friend father's death, <laughs> and will fight the rest of Team Seven and Kakashi. And by that I mean I'm so Sasuke and Kakashi. 
Anyways, Haku will soon find himself at a disadvantage against three people at once and will put up his eye to mirrors. This, this will result into Haku blitzing Sasuke and uh, uh, Naruto. Now, it's never confirmed that, you know, Kakashi can exactly was exactly fast as Naruto at this point, but I don't care. Let's just say he is. Him doing a bunch of sit on Kakashi would be what well, he already would be for season Sharon Gun again. And Sasuke will unlock his. Naruto wouldn't be affected by this symbol since the suit would basically be unaffected substance. And we'll try to launch some back at um, Haku. Kakashi would then Kakashi and Sasuke would both eventually, you know. They did say that Shangun can eventually adapt to someone's speed and would tell Naruto to launch his arm over where to Haku was going next. As Naruto would do just that and would grab Haku as Sakashi and Sasuke would launch a gigantic fireball. Well, Kakashi a giant fireball, Sasuke a regular size one as they would combine and hit like, Haku directly. Nearly killing Haku and knocking the guy out. Anyways, Kakashi will say good job to the two and he will fall down from exhaustion from overusing his shotgun. gun. As Naruto will tie Haku up saying that what should we do with him? Sasuke would just let, say let's take him on with us. His Sakura will, will walk up to them and if they're okay and they will say yeah. And they will carry Kakashi and Haku to Tatsuna's place, who will let them stay at his place. And eventually, Kakashi then Haku would wake up, and they would interrogate Haku, learning everything about Goto and what he's doing. The team would decide to leave Haku alive, and after careful consideration, they would decide to take the fight to Tatsuna to make sure that the way he wouldn't have any more problems. And we'll proceed to walk up to Tazuna's place, wreaking havoc as Kakashi uses Sharaga to locate Gato and they will capture him and bring him back to life and will liberate the country. Anyways, they will arrive back at Tazuna's house and will wait about how long it took in Canada for Tazuna to finish the bridge over this time. Now we're told we'll be talking to Haku and Team 7 will still be trained. And in the end of this timeline, the bridge will be named the Great Naruto Bridge, not the Great Naruto Bridge, <laughs> the Great Team 7 Bridge for after Team 7 since they were, it was a team effort who liberated the country. Haku would stay in a wave to help make the village stronger and protected. Anyways. That's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on your way out. And turn on that bell so you don't miss the video. See you next time. Oops. Why is this button working? Wait, still going?